forget to subscribe this channel for more new video updates. It is what you say that determines what to be done for and to you. So spoken words are very mystical realities in the spirit. They are very mystical because they mobilize spirits. They are very mystical because they mobilize life or death. They are very mystical because they create or destroy. They are very mystical because they build and purify or they defy. They are very mystical because they transmit authority. And they are very mystical because they are the basis for justification and condemnation in the spirit. This is why words are very significant and important realities in the spirit. And so in order to bring everybody up to speed, there are certain spiritual things, spiritual wisdom, spiritual capsules that if learned and applied can quickly improve your world so that your words can become effective. And so I give you four of them very quickly. Things that you must do in order to quickly begin to doctor your world and to repair the damage that your words are suffering, either from how they were taught or from how they were spoken. The first is that everyone who wants to make the most of these realities must learn to energize their words. Some of us hear this because we were trained in fear, we were trained in doubt, and some were trained in iniquity. Even if we start saying the right words now, those words will be weak. There will be no energy in it. Because fear would have weakened the potency of the words already so somebody may leave this service today and say wow what that man thought was true from today i will only be speaking the right thing and that's beautiful and the person may start speaking only the right things but you will discover that even though you are speaking the right things you may not command the right result just yet because your words don't have the energy you are not speaking it from conviction you are not speaking it from so many planes that should have been natural to you if you were brought up with it. And so there are spiritual antidotes that must be applied to spoken words in order for spoken words to become efficacious. And the first of such antidote is what we call energizing of your words. And the way you energize your word is by praying. And so before you speak, what you must do is to pray if you pray before talking you will discover that your words will carry more weight the reason is because you are learning these principles late somebody else who has mastered this can just wake up from bed and speak and the impact will be rapid and ferocious another person may be shouting nothing will happen they said the same things thing, but they said it at different energy level and so in order to quickly doctor your words, you need to begin to learn to energize your words. And the way to energize your word is to put prayer into your words. The Bible said in Jude verse 20, it said, You dearly beloved, building up yourself upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So when you pray, what happens to you is that you ascend to a higher energy level. And you will discover when you speak, the weight will be different. The reason is because prayer has doctored that word. So that word will produce more impact than it should have produced if spoken without prayer. Do you think your children will hear you because you love them? Your love for them will be the reason why they will be spoiled. If you want your children to hear you, your words must carry energy. And so when you come, you say, don't do this. They will know. Even when you are not around, that word will travel with them. Like an umbrella creating a shield over them but there are many people they've loved their children into hell loved their children into 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 prison men of authority they know the value of war so they keep energizing their wars you want to go for the meeting tomorrow to address the board of directors and you sleep and wake up and you go there with english language and a briefcase it will change nothing before you go there cook what you will say in three hours of tongues when you show up in the meeting 
you will say my dear colleagues I just want you to know that as you are talking they say yes yes we will do it we will do it because you are speaking wait you are not speaking English don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it will help you to grow your spiritual life